Our world has never known an organism like Homo sapiens sapien. From our aboriginal African ancestors to the globally dominant species we are. For better or worse, we exert an impact on an entire planet and everything on it. Why us? How did we go from the savannah to Silicon Valley? Sure, traits like bipedalism, opposable thumbs, and a constant desire to procreate have helped. But I think it's our ability to think creatively, to solve novel problems, and then spread this information throughout our societies that sets us apart. These traits enable us to share ideas like how to make a fire, the wheel, agriculture, writing, electronics, and Taylor Swift. <laughs> it's our capacity for social cognition, our ability to convey ideas into language, and our faculty for flexible thinking. Autism spectrum disorder affects each of these traits. 1% of our population is diagnosed as on the spectrum. Those at the severe end require lifelong help, and there is no known therapeutic. My PhD aims to identify genetic contributions to autism and to uncover the mechanisms that cause this disorder. Genetics has been demonstrated to be a major contributor to the etiology of autism. Mutations in our DNA, the bottom small yellow star on the left, cause abnormal brain development, yellow stars going up, resulting in structural and functional neuronal aberrations. Throughout my, in the course of my PhD, I identified a mutation in a young girl diagnosed with severe autism. This, muta this, this allowed for a refinement of diagnosis and provided important feedback to the, the parents. The mutation affected a gene that regulates the expression of other genes during neuronal development. Due to the mutation, the fine balance of gene regulation was disrupted, causing the girl's syndrome. By identifying the genes associated with autism, we gain an insight to the, the mechanisms that cause it. This deregulation of gene expression during development is one such mechanism. Another mechanism is decreased global brain signaling. This is a reduction in, in brain regions connecting with each other. These findings suggest that creative, uh, flexible thinking, language, and social cognition require rigorous control during brain development and flexible and fluid interactivity between diverse brain regions. Through investigating the mechanisms of autism, we can identify the aspects of our minds that allow us to think flexibly, to convey ideas into language, and to exist in large societies. The very traits that enable us to climb down from the trees and then fly up to the moon. Thank you.